Aloha. Hey, it's uh, William again. And uh, today we'll talk about device drivers. Wait, it, I'm in the wrong class. Is this a class about golf? Uh, okay. Um, let's talk now about device drivers. <laughs> okay, so uh, device driver. Okay, again, uh, you're in the right class. It's not golf, it's computer science. Uh, and device driver, okay, got yeah, software. So it works with the operating system to run hardware devices for the computer. Okay, sometimes they just call this a driver. Okay, so uh, in the computer itself, okay, you got your software running, you got your operating system, and then somehow it has to communicate with the, uh, what you call with the hardware. All right, and to make, to, to, to get it to communicate, we have a special pro program called a driver our device driver that, that makes the operating system and hardware communicate. And uh, why they do it this way. Okay, so uh, in computers, they like to break things down into groups or different components. So it's just easy, easier to develop uh, software. And then if something's wrong, you know, they can reach in, okay, well, this one little part of the software is broken. All right, maybe your device driver needs updated. Okay, we'll go in there, we'll change the device driver, and then uh, put in a new one. And then, then everything works again. So that's kind of the big thing with, with computers is make them modular. Okay, so you, you, if one little part breaks, you know, you don't have to just buy a whole new computer or, or, or um, you know, rewrite uh, the whole operating system and everything else. Okay, so that, that's kind of what's going on. It's, it's break, broken down into modules. And then if you take uh, uh, programming classes especially, we'll, we'll talk a lot about that, especially in... ICS uh, 211. Okay, so stay tuned for future classes. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at the next slide here. And I think we're talking about drivers. And let's talk about a new device. Okay, so we'll add some new hardware device to our computer. You know, maybe you have some new uh, speakers, or maybe just plug in a USB drive, or, you know, um, something like that. All right, so you got to uh, make a new screen. Okay, new computer screen. That's a good example, I guess. All right, so we got to install a new device driver. And sometimes it's pretty good. The computers are getting more automatic as you know, time goes by. And uh, you don't have to do anything. That's great. That's great, yeah. But then sometimes we do have to do this uh, manually. Ah, you got to do it manually. Okay, so again you know plug plug in your device and see sometimes though especially windows lately it seems like it recognizes what's going on but otherwise do it manually and so how we do it manually let's let's see how we do it manually um, all right so next slide here okay so we have something called a device wizard and let's see a wizard is just a type of user interface all right you might think of like Gandalf or something like that but um, Big white beard. Anyway, it's just just kind of facilitates or helps you to do something, kind of like the wizards did in Middle Earth. They helped everyone fight the Mordor folks. At any rate, <laughs> I get an off topic there, but uh, guys use it through these different steps. Okay, it uses a series of dialog boxes. Okay, so you you go through these steps, and the, the wizard kind of leads you, kind of like they were leading the hobbits back in the movie. And uh, you might ask a different name, different systems, you know, they have different names uh, for different things, just to make things more confusing, I guess. So Mac uh, OS uh, 10, uh, they call them assistants. All right, so kind of same thing, assistant, wizard, all right. Same, uh, same difference, right? Uh, at any rate, so I guess you think of assistant more, they're helping you out in the wizard, anyway. Whatever. Anyway, so assistant or wizard, you know, special software that helps us achieve a task. Okay, let's see what that wizard will do for us. Or maybe what can we do for the wizard? At any rate, uh, we'll add a device. Wizard is uh, the name of the wizard, actually. And this is for the Windows. And it helps with installing the device drivers. And uh, just go to the con control panel and look for the hardware and sound, and then for devices and printers, and then finally to add a device. Okay, so you know if, if you get lost with instructions, 
You can also just do a Google, add a device wizard, and that'll pop up. These instructions are, you know, come to our slides and, and, and look through the slides, and that'll show you how to do it as well. Okay. Or if you get lost, ask your instructor to help you out as well. Okay, so let's see uh, what else we have next. So the Windows update here. Uh, you can update your drivers as well. Uh, if drivers get outdated, then it could be a security risk or flaw. So make sure you know you update them with the Windows update. And for this one, again, control panel. And then we'll go to the system and security. And then to Windows update. Okay, so again, if, if you get lost with this, you know, ask your instructor or, or you know, look it up online as well for the Windows update. But it's pretty automatic. Go to that screen and it'll tell you what needs to be updated. Uh, a lot of times it just, uh, it'll pop up kind of on the bottom part of your screen. Oh, we have a Windows update. You click on it and then it brings you all the way to that particular uh, window. And then it'll ask you, oh, urgent security or not so urgent and, and select what you want and then uh, you know, it's a good idea to keep your computer updated and that helps to uh, minimize, I guess not get rid of, but minimize uh, security risks with people breaking into your computer. Don't want to get you paranoid, but just kind of let you know what's up. Okay. All right, cool. Let's see. So again, if, if you kind of not sure about this or you got a driver and not sure how to, to update or whatever, uh, a lot of times you can just you can download the drivers uh, online as well. So if you um, kind of Google it or, or look it up uh, on a web search, and then uh, you know put the driver and what kind of device you got, and then a lot of times you can just download these things for free and then put it on your computer, and then the operating system and hardware will sync up, and then you can run your device, whatever that might be. Okay. So let's see what we have next here. Talk a little bit uh, about uh, jobs and careers. Okay, so that's kind of the next step uh, after you uh, graduate, right? Okay, so I just kind of give you an idea of what's out there so you know. Uh, computer support specialists, okay, so they help uh, people use uh, the computer software and the hardware. And um, sometimes they even give support to the uh, IT employees, and that's a more uh, specialized part, yeah. But uh, more general now is to assist uh, non-IT users with computer problems. So, um, you know, I, for IT employees, you might be doing more things with networks, and then making certain sure that certain software is is updated. Um, you know, you start getting into contracts and you know, how much things cost, that kind of thing. And then as far as the assistance with non-IT users, uh, you might just be helping out with you know, things like how to use uh, Microsoft Word or Office or you know, how to use email or you know, things like that. OK, so let's talk a little bit more about the career here in IT. Now, a lot of times, uh, you're providing support 24 hours a day, okay? So, you know, companies are, are always, you know, running and trying to get ahead of the next guy, next, next person. And uh, so be aware of that. And then a lot of times, you require an associate or bachelor's degree, okay? So, you know, you graduate from Leeward, then you have an associate degree. And medium pay is about, okay, 46,000 gross, about 70%. Uh, that's kind of recent stats from the U.S. Uh, Bureau of Labor Stats Statistics. Uh, so it might change over time, but uh, yeah, it looks like it's growing. You know, it's decent money. Um, hey, the drawback, you know, 24 hours a day. It just depends on, the, on the, where you're going to work, though. Okay, so a lot of times if IT goes down, if the, the network goes down, then... Ugh, you got you to bring it back up, okay, as soon as possible. Okay, let's let's talk about one more thing here, one more topic for uh, we'll call it a day, and uh, look into the future. Ooh, what is there? So IBM uh, and other companies are creating these automatic computing initiatives. So ACI, you know, they love these acronyms. And you know, since 2001, so for a while now, they're trying to create a computer system that's self-managing. So 
It uh, can change itself. It has sensors that monitor itself. And then, um, you know, if things get out of whack, uh, if, if, you know, they, something is updated, it updates itself, or, uh, um, you know, certain security things are happening, it alerts, it can alert itself and, and, and compensate for that. So based on certain knowledge and certain policies, it can change itself. Hmm. All right, so, all right, sounds all right, right? Automated computers, sounds great. Uh, okay, I don't have to you know, update or fix my computer anymore. Awesome, man. All right, so some people have warned against this. Uh, one thing is putting too much power with the automated systems. You know, if something doesn't quite go right, uh, then what? Okay. So if we have too many things other computers control, uh, then you know, that could be um, a bad thing too. And then other thinkers have also warned about the potential threat to the human race. Okay, so you might want to look up a TED Talk or maybe uh, Google this to get more information. But um, anyway, so some of the big thinkers out there are thinking, hey, you know, maybe uh, there could be some drawbacks to having uh, too much control, too much, uh, I don't say power, but you know, leaving you too much too many things up to the computers. Okay, um, I guess we'll call it a day, and uh, aloha, we'll see y'all a little bit later. All right.